Welcome to Roots Online Abacus Classes. In this lesson, we will learn how to do addition and subtraction with the help of lower beads. First, we will cover finger movements, placement of abacus, setting zero and then, we will learn addition and subtraction. We will not be covering a detailed explanation regarding place values of numbers, as this will get covered gradually as the modules move forward. Please watch the video as many times as required before attempting any exercise. Let's now cover the topics one by one. Finger movements. On abacus, all calculations are performed by movements of beads. And this is done with the use of index finger and thumb of the right hand. Hence, the index finger and the thumb both should always be kept in ready position. Rest three fingers should comfortably touch the inner palm. Left-handers use the left hand in the same way. Placement of abacus. While performing calculations, never keep abacus and smartphone in your hand. Always place them on the table. Smartphone or tabs should be kept just above the abacus. Best device. Any device can be used, like smartphone, laptop, desktop or a tab. However, children mostly prefer to use a smartphone or a tab, as they are handy and can be used anywhere setting abacus to zero. Before doing any calculation, we need to ensure that abacus is set to zero. It means that no bead should touch the bar. Here, we see an abacus with few beads touching the bar. To set it to zero, make it stand vertically so that all the lower beads slide away from the bar. Now, to slide away upper beads, use nail of index finger. No bead is touching the bar now. Let's now learn how to do additions and subtraction. On abacus, addition and subtraction are done by moving the beads. To add lower beads, we use the thumb, and to subtract the lower beads, we use index finger. For kids who have not yet started learning addition and subtraction in school, clarify to them that plus sign indicates moving the beads towards bar and minus sign indicates moving beads away from the bar. Let's understand this with few examples. Solve 1 plus 2 on abacus. Start the calculation from 1's column. The first number is always added. Here, we have two numbers. Start with first number which is 1. For this, we need 1 bead. So, we move 1 bead toward the bar. Now, we add second number which is 2. For this, we need two beads. So, move two beads toward the bar. Now, the number shown by the abacus is 3. So, the answer is 3. Let's take next example. Solve 2 plus 2. Start with adding first number which is 2. For this, we need two beads. So, move two beads toward the bar. Now, we add second number which is 2. For this, we need two beads. So, move two beads toward the bar. Now, the number shown by the abacus is 4, so the answer is 4. Let's take another example. 4 minus 2. Start with adding first number which is 4. For this, we need 4 beads. So, move 4 beads toward the bar. Now we need to subtract second number which is 2. For this, we need two beads. So move two beads away from the bar. Now, the number shown by the abacus is two, so the answer is two. Let's take one more example. Four minus two minus one plus two. Start with adding first number which is four here. For this, we need four beads. So move four beads toward the bar. Now we subtract second number which is two here. For this we need two beads. Move two beads away from the bar. Now we subtract third number which is one. For this, we need one bead. So move one bead away from the bar. Now we add fourth number which is two. For this we need two beads. So move two beads towards the bar. Now the number shown by the abacus is three. So the answer is three. Let us revise important points once again. What does the movement of lower beads towards the bar indicate? Subtraction or addition?
right. It is addition. What does the movement of lower beads away from the bar indicate? Subtraction or addition? Right. It is subtraction. What do we use to move lower beads towards the bar? Index finger or your thumb? Right. It is thumb. What do we use to move lower beads away from the bar? Index finger or thumb? You are right. It is index finger. Tips for the trainer. Correct movement of fingers is very important for becoming expert in abacus. During the initial days, you must monitor child's finger movements. Training of finger movements can be given by asking the child to show movement of fingers for 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 3, 4 minus 4. This can be done in following way. 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 4 minus 4 This is the end of the tutorial.